Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Natalie, and welcome to Legacy Church Warsaw's Youth Fellowship. This week, our friend Elaine is going to talk about Acts of the Apostles, and in particular, the Apostle Paul. And I must say, I'm really enjoying this series. I'm learning so much from Elaine's teaching. Yeah. Um, just learning about these men from the Bible and the way that they behaved and they acted. And sometimes we think that's out of our reach and we can't possibly be like these men. And so I'm learning about that and about God's grace. Yeah. His grace that enables us yeah. to behave in the way that we should. Well, let's just move on to Elaine's teaching. Enjoy. Hello again everyone. Have you ever been on a journey in a car and the driver is perhaps unfamiliar with the route? Maybe they've been looking at a map to get the directions or they've got a sat-nav on. And you're going along on the road and you've just sort of got a niggle that it's perhaps not quite the right way. And then all of a sudden it dawns on the driver, no, this is wrong, this is the wrong way. Perhaps the, the sat-nav tells him to do a U-turn. You just know that you're on the wrong road, going in the wrong direction. You've completely got to turn around and go back the other way. I'm guessing that this is what happened with this bus. Well, I think I'm glad I wasn't a passenger on that bus. Are you? Can you imagine being the driver? I bet he was on that bus and he was sure that he was on the right track going in the right direction. But something clearly clicked in his mind to convince him that he had to turn around. He was going the wrong way. This reminds me of the character that we're going to look at today, and that's Paul. Now, Paul was a very religious man. He was well educated. He was a good Pharisee. He knew the scriptures well, and he adhered to the law and traditions of his Jewish faith. He genuinely believed that the Christian movement was a dangerous threat to Judaism and he hated Christians he hated the Christian way of life so he persecuted Christians he sought them out and had even had them killed now can you remember when we were learning about Stephen last time can you remember at the end of Stephen's life that he was stoned to death. And all the people in the, in the town that were going to stone him, the men took off their robes and laid them at the feet of someone before they were stoning Stephen. You know who that someone was? Paul. Or as he's known then, Saul. So he was looking on and he approved of the stoning of Stephen. He really thought that he was doing the right thing by his Jewish faith. But something happened to Saul, who later became known as Paul, to make him realise 
he was heading in the wrong direction and he needed to completely turn round and find a new way. Let's find out in this next clip what happened. When you read the Bible, there's a guy that really stands out, a man named Paul. Paul was a missionary who wrote the books of Romans, Galatians, and many others in the Bible. But what's really incredible is Paul's story before he became a follower of Jesus. He was a very different person. His name wasn't even Paul. It was Saul, and he hated anyone who followed Jesus. Saul tried to do what was right by following the old laws, but he believed anyone who followed Jesus was wrong. So he chased down Christians and captured them. One day, Saul was given permission to go to a town called Damascus and arrest any followers of Jesus that he found there. But an incredible event happened on the road to Damascus. As Saul got closer to the city, a bright light shone from heaven, blinding him. He dropped to the ground and heard a loud voice coming from the sky. Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Who are you? I am Jesus, the one you think is wrong. Get up and go to the city. Then you will be told what you need to do next. Saul got up from the ground, but he was blind. He couldn't see anything. He was led to Damascus by his men, but for three full days, he was blind and didn't eat or drink anything. Now in that city, there was a man who followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. He also heard the voice of Jesus. Ananias, go to the house where Saul is. Place your hands on him so he will be able to see again. Ananias was scared because he knew Saul had a bad reputation. He knew Saul hated Christians like him. But the Lord said, Go. Saul is the man I have chosen to share my good news. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying. He put his hands on him and prayed for God to restore Saul's sight. Immediately, Saul could see again. He quickly chose to follow Jesus, got baptized, and regained his strength with some food. Saul stayed in that city and began to share God's good news with everyone. People knew he was the man who used to hate God and Christians, but they saw that now he was different. God had transformed him. He was no longer the Saul that didn't believe in Jesus. Now he was Paul, who spent the rest of his life serving God. What a turnaround. Paul did a complete U-turn. His encounter with Jesus completely transformed his life. He was going in one direction, completely turned around and went off in the other direction. Just because of that encounter with Jesus. He transformed his life. What a story. Jesus turned him from a man who was persecuting Christians into someone who was preached about Christ. And it didn't end there. Paul did many, many magnificent things. He did fantastic missionary journeys that you can read about in our New Testament. And he wrote lots of letters to the churches telling them how to live their lives and how to act and how to live for Christ. And those letters make up the New Testament too. What can we learn from our friend Paul? I think I can see that no one is beyond God's reach. If he can look at Paul, a man who was persecuting Christians and approving when they were killed, into someone who is sharing the good news of Jesus. It just tells me that no one is beyond his reach. So what's your story? What's your turnaround story? If you're a Christian, how is your life different? Now you're going on a different path with God after meeting him. Maybe write a few things down and ask God for an opportunity to share that with someone this week. If you feel that you haven't met Jesus and your life hasn't been turned around, talk to a Christian friend, send an email to someone at church, read his word, ask him to meet you where you are, and he will. 
see you next time. That was another amazing episode of the Acts of the Apostles and do you know what really stood out to me about that is the fact that Paul had condoned, he'd been a party to if you like, the uh, stoning of Stephen and yet God didn't say that there was no place for him because he persecuted one of his followers. He actually said, I love you as welcome to me and that's all about grace. And that absolutely amazes me. Yeah. I love the way she explained the analogy of the bus. Yeah. And how she related that to Paul. It was going one way and all of a sudden realised he had to turn around. Mm. That was like Paul or Saul who then became Paul. Yeah. I think it was a fantastic. Yeah. And I'm glad I wasn't on that bus. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> but just, um, yeah, just think about what Elaine said this week and... Um, you know, the way that we do behave and just because we become saved, just because we accept Jesus, it doesn't mean that he will change our personality either. Look at the way Paul was when he was Saul. He was so on fire and enthusiastic to live out the religious beliefs that he had. And when God saved him, he didn't squash that personality. He just channeled it and he used it to go and spread the good news about Jesus. Yeah, and I'd like, just like to say that, you know, as God spoke to him, it stopped him in his tracks. Take that as a positive in that we know when we've got the Holy Spirit in us, we may be doing something wrong. Mm. Uh, and with, with the Holy Spirit nudging us, we can stop doing those wrong things yeah. and go in the right direction. Yeah, he so, knew that bus driver, didn't he? He couldn't carry on any further along that road. And as dangerous as it was for him to turn around at that time, he wasn't prepared to carry on with that journey. Exactly. So stay positive. Yeah. Have a think about what you've learnt tonight and um, how that might change you. And like Elaine said, think about if there's been a U-turn or God speaking to you. Have you got a testimony? And ask God to give you the boldness to talk to somebody about that this week. I'll yeah. see you next time. Have See a good week. See you next time.